Hello and welcome back to the Wasteland, everybody. Welcome back to Fallout New Vegas once again, where today we're going to be going over a very special list, at least for me. We're going to be going over my top 10 favorite weapons in Fallout New Vegas. Now, just because a weapon is my favorite doesn't necessarily mean that it's super strong or overpowered or anything. Some of the weapons on this list are very strong, but that's not always the reason why I like them. And it was really, really difficult to actually just narrow down to 10 of my favorite weapons throughout the Mojave because there is a lot of very fun weapons to be using. So let's begin, and these aren't in any particular order. Coming in at my number 10 spot, we have the Hunting Shotgun. The Hunting Shotgun is my favorite shotgun in the entire game. It looks awesome. It's a pump shotgun, which is surprisingly rare in the Fallout games for some reason. I think the only other Fallout game where we have a pump action, at least that I'm aware of, is Tactics, where I don't think we have it in the first, second. Maybe there is one in the second Fallout. I could be wrong about that. There isn't one in the third. There isn't one in four either. And I'm not sure about 76 because I still haven't played it. But the pump shotgun is really cool. You can find it fairly early on. There's actually a couple of them laying throughout the wasteland where you can pick them up. 12 gauge is a little bit difficult to come by in the early game, but usually I'm using this towards the mid and late game. And it does have two modifications to it, which are pretty good. You can have the choke, which makes it so your spread is lessened. That's pretty good, especially against uh, tougher enemies. Although you could always load slugs into the shotgun and just punch through armor that way. That's also pretty good. And then you can also have it a tube extender, so it goes from holding 5 shots to holding 8 shots. Everything about the hunting shotgun is pretty good. It shoots fairly fast, does pretty good damage, it synergizes really well with certain perks like uh, Shotgun Surgeon and End Stand Back. Both of those perks are really strong, especially and Stand Back. Just a very fun shotgun overall, and the 12 gauge takes a lot of different ammunition, so you can switch this out for slugs, pulse slugs, buckshot, whatever you think that you need in a situation. Coming in at my number 9 spot, we have the Ballistic Fist. The Ballistic Fist is probably my favorite unarmed weapon in the entire game. I just love it. It's like a little cannon that you have attached to your arm. This, I think, is supposed to be a shotgun shell that you fire out of it, although it's infinite, so who knows exactly what the heck the Ballistic Fist is supposed to be. You're usually not getting Ballistic Fists early on, though. Usually they're a late-game weapon. You can take these off of the Legionaries, which is usually how I get them when I use them, and that could be a pretty fun fight just to have in general, but the Ballistic Fist is fantastic. It does really high damage. It's actually, I think, one of the highest strength requirement weapons in the game, though. I think it has like 100 unarmed and 9 strength to use. It's very high, but it is super fun just to smash things across the wasteland with this. It does massive damage to everything that you hit. Coming in at number 8, we have Knock Knock. Knock Knock is the unique Fire Axe. The regular Fire Axe is really fun in New Vegas, but I really like the look of Knock Knock the best. I love the American Psycho themed uh, Fire Axe that you find there, where it's got the silver head and then more of the, the black synthetic uh, grip. And it's just a really strong weapon in general. It hits hard, it hits fast, it has a really good VATS attack, because I think it has extra knockdown chance when you use that, or maybe it's a guaranteed knockdown. Either way, it's pretty good if you want to use it in the VATS build too. And the only kind of downside to getting Knock Knock is that it's a little bit of a chore to get. It's not so bad because you can just go and kill Logan in Camp Searchlight and then go directly to the fire station and grab it. But even so, you kind of have to go out of your way just to get this weapon, which, I mean, is a theme of most of the unique weapons, and I do kind of like that. It's just that this one seems extra hidden, and it would be very easy for you to walk by it. Still, you get a cosplay as Patrick Bateman, though, so that's always very fun. Coming in at my number 7 spot, we have the Microfusion Cell Cluster. This one is a unique, well, sort of unique weapon. You can make these so long as you have the Perk Mad Bomber. And this is just a bunch of microfusion cells clustered together and you chuck this out. Technically, this is counted as a placed weapon because when you do toss these out, it actually spreads the grenades out and then they go off one at a time. And unless you hit something directly with it and then it blows it up in a cluster. The extra cool thing about this is that you can always go and pick these back up if they didn't explode. So you can potentially just keep getting all of your, you know, used explosives back, which is usually not a thing. But hey, this one is super fun. It's also very, very strong. It's probably one of the strongest explosive weapons in the game. And just super fun to make these. I love taking Mad Bomber just for this reason. Even though Mad Bomber also has some other really good uh, explosives that you can build too. Coming in at number 6, we have the Ranger Sequoia. The Ranger Sequoia just, it looks awesome. It's the biggest iron in the West. And it is just fantastic. The design of it looks fantastic. You can get quite a few of these. They're actually not considered unique, sort of. They are kind of the unique version of the hunting revolver. These ones don't have a scope. These ones have the iron sights, which I think is kind of an improvement. I like the iron sights over the scope, even though the scope is quite good on the hunting revolver too. But a five shot, 4570 gigantic handgun. It's just awesome. It deals really high damage. It looks really good. Once you have like jury rigging, you can fix this with any other handgun that you want and keep it in tip top shape. Uh, the only downside to the Ranger Sequoia is either getting one or getting shot with one. Getting shot with one kind of sucks. Uh, also getting these 
you're not going to get a whole lot of them unless you go against the NCR to kill some of the veterans, in which case then you can get quite a few of them. You can also get one from completing a particular quest too. Coming in at number five, we have the Rat Slayer. The Rat Slayer is the unique varmint rifle. You can find this in Brockflower Cave next to a bunch of giant rats. These are actually kind of dangerous, especially in the early game, but this is a fully modded up uh, varmint rifle. So it's got the suppressor, it's got the big night vision scope, it's got the extended magazine. It's more lightweight than a regular varmint rifle. I think it looks great in the uh, black synthetic. It just, it looks great in general. It looks like a fully functional hunting rifle that you might take out to just hunt regular small game with. And it takes the 5.56 round, which is super plentiful throughout New Vegas. You find that everywhere, as well as it's super versatile. You can throw armor piercing rounds with this, hollow point rounds, really whatever you'd like to throw in here. It has a bullet that just works with it. And even though the Rat Slayer is not the strongest sniper rifle, not by any means, it is still probably one of my most satisfying weapons to use, so that's why the Rat Slayer is here. Coming in at number four, we have the hunting rifles, particularly with the scope. The hunting rifle by itself is kind of a cool wasteland weapon, and that's what draws me to it, as well as the hunting rifle has been in every single Fallout game that I'm aware of. And it's kind of weird that it's changed so much, where in certain games it's a 5.56 rifle, in other games, like in New Vegas, it's a 308 rifle, in Fallout 3, it was a 32 rifle for some reason. I don't know why. The hunting rifle, I think, with the scope, just looks perfect for something that you would haul around in the wasteland. I like the other mods to it as well. Increasing its magazine size from 5 to 10 is a nice quality of life bonus. And having the bolt go a bit quicker is also really nice. The unique version of the hunting rifle also looks really good. I just wish that I could put a scope on it. And yes, I know that it does zoom with the iron sights. It actually, I think, zooms more than the hunting rifle scope does which is a little bit weird, but I wish that you could put a scope on it because I think then it would look perfect for me. Again, not saying it looks bad or anything. I just, I like the look of the scope being added to the rifle as well. So that's why I'd put it here in number four, as well as the hunting rifle is actually a pretty good gun that you can use throughout basically the whole game because it does enough damage. The 308 round, just like the 556 round, is super versatile. You can throw in armor piercing, hollow point rounds, whatever you need for a particular occasion and you should be good to go, and it's perfectly acceptable as a sniper rifle all throughout the game. Coming in at number three, we have the Laser RCW. This is one of my favorite looking weapons in all of New Vegas because it looks so cool. It's a Tommy gun, but it shoots out lasers. The regular Tommy gun in New Vegas also looks pretty good. Uh, it looks a little bit funky once you get up close, but the Laser RCW is more of the profile of the Tommy gun, I guess, than the regular Tommy gun is. That's kind of weird, but whatever. Except for that you put in a giant fusion cell into the front of it, or I guess a fusion pack into the front of it, and it fires out lasers, and it's just super cool looking. I really like the look of it. Is it one of the strongest weapons in the game? Not necessarily. I think the laser rifle kind of outcompetes it in most general situations, since you're going to be doing more damage per shot. The laser rifle hits crits more often. Crits are really strong on laser weapons in general. I mean, the laser rifle in its own way does look really, really cool. I like that one too. It's just the laser RCW looks a little bit cooler for me. Coming in at number two, we have the medicine stick. The medicine stick is the unique brush gun. And honestly, I kind of wanted to put all the lever action guns on here because I think they all look great. The cowboy repeater is a fantastic early game weapon. I think it looks really good. I wish that you could flip down the aperture sight on it though, to where you could just use the iron sights if you wanted and maybe flipping up the aperture sight gave you a zoom. I think that would have been a better use for it rather than it having it permanently up because otherwise it gets a little bit awkward when fighting at kind of close to medium range where the cowboy repeater can do really well. Other than that though, the base cowboy repeater is really cool once it's all uh, modded up to where it has everything on it. Trail carbine also should be mentioned here because the trail carbine looks fantastic as well. I really like the unmodded trail carbine. Even once you throw the scope on it, it's still really good. And the brush gun itself is really cool, but I decided to put the medicine stick here because I think it looks the coolest. I like how clean it looks. I really like the big old uh, ghost ring sight that it has on it. That's really nice. And it also has the really cool dream catcher on the back of it. Aside from that, it's a fantastic weapon in New Vegas. It's probably one of the strongest weapons in New Vegas, just outright. Has high damage per shot. Has a decent variety of ammo since it's 4570 as well. Maybe not as versatile as some, but still good enough for every situation. Only downside is you have to buy this. You can't earn it in some other way, but that's how the gunner and arsenal weapons work. So it's going to cost you like $20,000 to get, but totally worth it. And then coming at number one, this probably won't be a surprise to a lot of you. It's this machine. This machine is just awesome. It's one of my favorite guns in Fallout just in general. This is the M1 Garen. This is the unique version of it where you find it in Camp McCarran. You do have to do an unmarked quest to get it, which is weird because a lot of people don't even realize that this machine exists, but you can get it. You can actually get it like right away 
just as soon as you can get to 50 science, more or less, or if you want to go through Contreras' quest, you can do that. Which, going through his quest does help, because then you can buy a bunch of 308s from him, he usually has thousands of them. This one is fantastic, it shoots fast, it does good damage, okay accuracy, it could be a little bit better. It's basically invincible, this thing takes forever to break. And it also shoots the 308 round, which is fantastic, it's super versatile, again you can throw in armor piercing rounds, hollow points, jacketed soft points, whatever you want to toss into it, it's going to do really well. Even just base 308 rounds are really strong anyway. The reload speed is super fast as well as it has the ping, so that's always a big bonus to uh, this gun. And it's just, it's one of my favorite guns. So tell me what your top 10 most favorite weapons in Fallout New Vegas are down in the comments below. I'd love to hear them. I hope you guys enjoyed this, and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye-bye!